again, everyone. It's Todd Starooch, the horror nerd, here at the first ever Catastrophicon at Reed Castle at Manhattanville College. We are having a blast today. This is a first-time convention. It is pretty cool. A lot of good artists and vendors and, uh, and entertainers. And I am very pleased that I have the honor and privilege of standing here with someone that I am proud to call a friend, the lovely and talented Monique Dupree. Monique, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I am doing great. It's good to see you. You too, you too. I'm very glad that you're a guest yes, here. It's been a minute. Too. I know, I it's been you. a long minute. So, how's everything been? You seem very busy all the time. I'm busy now, I mean, you know, with everybody else, COVID kind of took us out sure. for a while. I found other interesting ways of making money, and then everything else just came back with a vengeance, and I'm just so very blessed that people are still hiring me mm. for things. <laughs> All the things. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we, we, we just had a, a panel that you were on, and, yes. uh, you know, it's easy to forget, like, what a, a long... Uh, career you've had straddling both movies and wrestling and everything. You're in like over a hundred films all together. Yeah. Right? Um, film and television pro projects would span over 150. Uh, I can't count. But it's hard for me to believe that uh, my career has been over three decades. And for me, I still feel like it's in, an, it's in its infancy. But that is still three decades is a long time to do, you know, one dedicated thing that you love. I mean, for me, it's been acting and wrestling, mm. but wrestling is more of a one decade in having my foot in. That's still a know? long time. It is. You know, really, some people really, come and go just like that, you know? Really, well, I had a good trainer uh, in Tommy Dreamer, so... Mm. You know, the people that he tend to work with that listen have a lasting effect. And that's why I love production, uh, especially with wrestling and stuff like that. But uh, I'm so happy that I'm doing films again as well, because as I told you off camera, it's like people kind of forgot that I work as an actress mm. and this is how I started. And so now, even today, I just signed a contract uh, virtually on a new film that I'm doing that I'm filming in January. Very cool. Can't tell the details yet, but I'm so excited because it literally just happened while I was here. Good for you. <laughs> that is great. I, yes. I like seeing my friends be successful. Same here. Same a rising here. tide raises all ships. That's, what I, that's what I like to say. You never lie. So. so out of the, you know, you talked about you were in a bunch of trauma films and, mm -hmm. you know, it's such a long career. Do you have any, anything you can tell us about a project or a time on set that really stands out for you? Um, well, yes, but it may be for a different reason. So I did a film a year and change ago, almost two years ago, called The Beautiful Ones. Now, when I first set out to do this project, I didn't realize that it was kind of like a like a like a black grindhouse type of film with you know mostly black cast because you know I came in I did my parts even though I had a supporting character role uh, that had such a huge impact on me because I forgot who I was as a screen queen until I set foot on that set and people treated me with the love and respect of someone who's been in the business, you know, mm. a long time. And it was just such a, it was such a humbling experience for me. And, you know, I loved my part. Like, I loved everything about it. They even made sure that when I wasn't on set, my everything was good. Uh, I stayed in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. So they made sure that when I wasn't on set, I can just see constant waterfall because they read somewhere how much I love water. Ah. That mm -hmm. took a certain level of love and dedication and respect for somebody that you're bringing in um, as a supporting character. 
And so that experience stu stuck out for me. The the acting, the, ca the, the cast, the cast became my family. The, everything, everything about it. There was no one bad thing about that experience. And that's why it stood out for me as a whole. And it reminded me that I did not just start in this business that I've been here for a while and it just made me remember you know kind of remember who I am mm, that's a good answer yeah. <laughs> I like it very good Thank you. Um, did you know from a very early age that you wanted to be an entertainer absolutely yeah I I firmly believe that before I could walk I knew I wanted to entertain I would always entertain my family at home I would get the kids together and put jerry curl juice on my non jerry curl hair and do song performances acting performances for the family um, my my big bro Tony T uh, taught me a few things and is still doing that to this day uh, I knew I wanted to entertain, not necessarily acting, but I knew I wanted to entertain. Mm. I knew that I want to be in front of people in some form or fashion and, and keep them otherwise occupied, make them laugh, make them cry, whatever emotion it is at that moment that I want to affect, I knew that I wanted to do that. Mm. Very cool. <laughs> What, one more question, if, what, if you could give one piece of advice, say, to a young up-and-coming actress out there who wants to break into movies or TV or wrestling or anything, you know, any sort, sort of entertainment business, what piece of advice would you give them? Uh, keep your wits about you. Uh, there are some people that will start doing work and then all of a sudden feel like, well, I, you know, you need to do this for me. You need to do that for me. The ego. The ego starts to rise. Uh, and I feel like ego should never come into play. Now, I don't care how long you've been in a business for. It shouldn't come into play. Uh, always be humble. Never take no for an answer, meaning you might have 150 people tell you no. But that does not mean stop. It means you haven't connected with the right person, the right company, the right people that see you, that want to use you. Mm. I got over 200 no's and people telling me they didn't want to work with me. And if I had quit, I wouldn't be where I am today. Mm. So don't ever quit. It doesn't mean argue with people that tell you no. It means don't ever quit. If it's something you really want to do. Also, you have to have a thick skin for this business. And a lot of people don't say that enough. Mm. If you don't have a thick skin, it's going to be very hard to handle moving about in any of the businesses I'm in, wrestling, especially acting. Um, you know, I do a little bit of burlesque, like all of it, all of it. You have to have a thick skin. You have to develop a thick skin. And if you don't have one, you, you, you need to develop it quickly. Fair enough. Yes. <laughs> Words of wisdom, everybody. Absolutely. Monique, I could talk to you all day. I don't want to keep you. There's people, you know, there's people around. You'd love to watch you interact with the fans. Um, I wish you the best of luck in all of your upcoming projects. Thank Just you. Just tell the fans before I let you go where they can find you okay. and how they can follow along with your career. Well, I always tell people, uh, jokingly but seriously, if you Google Monique Dupree, you'll see all of my stuff because sometimes I, I legit forget. I'm ADHD. <laughs> but um, on my Instagram, it's Monique Gata Dupree. Uh, on my Facebook, it's the True Original Gata. Um, Instagram, the Original Gata. Threads, now Threads is the thing, the original Gata. Most of my um, social media is verified. So if you don't see a verification check, it's probably not me. Fantastic. Monique, it is always good to see you. Thank yeah. you, as always, for a few minutes of your time. Thank you, Love always you, for you. And I always. wish you success. Thank you. <laughs> Monique, the original Gata Dupree, everybody, here at Catastrophic Con. This is Todd Struch, the Harnard, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview.